likely that Reed catches Bill Belichick or Mahomes catches Tom Brady in the GOAT debate of greatest quarterback all time, greatest coach all time? Uh, goofy. Do I get to go first? Who's going first? RC. Go ahead, I get to go first? Did I forget to say that? Uh, Mahomes catches Brady in the conversation. That doesn't mean he catches him in championships. Mm -hmm. I think that's different because when you look at Patrick Mahomes, and I'm going to just speak for myself, I think he plays the quarterback position at a higher level and in a way that Tom Brady couldn't. Mm. The reason that Tom Brady became the eventual GOAT was because he won championships, but was because he continued to improve. It's because he left New England, went to Tampa Bay, and changed the fortunes of that organization. His greatness was embodied in what his team could accomplish, and then also what he was able to accomplish individually, mostly pointing to 2007, where he throws for 50 touchdowns. Randy Moss break his, breaks the single season touchdown receiving record. But Patrick Mahomes has the start to his career that's different than Tom Brady. Yes, Tom Brady won Super Bowls early, but we weren't pointing to Tom Brady in those early Super Bowls as the reason. We were pointing to that defense, the great coaching by Bill Belichick, whereas Patrick Mahomes came into Andy Reid's life and said, man, you've been an eight for all these years, an 8.5. I'm going to take you to a 10. I'm going to make you a dime. I'm going to get you that ring that you have been good enough to get, but ain't nobody really want to propose. He got the right makeup. He put the right clothes on him and made sure he is now a dude that's going to be talked about in a different conversation. That's about Patrick Mahomes, his play, and what he's meant to the Kansas City Chiefs. And that wasn't necessarily what I felt about the beginning of Tom Brady's career. R.C., as in Ryan Clark, you are completely and totally wrong. <laughs> not even close. Why you built me up like not, that? Not, oh, not, nice. Not, 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 even, not even close. And I'm going to tell you why. I have what I believe to be an impenetrable argument. And the argument is to simply look at you and say, do I need to rewind the show today and, and, and remind the audience how you started off talking about Bill Belichick? All I need to do is take your sound about Bill Belichick and then I'll play it for the audience. And at that particular moment in time, I would say, who's harder to catch? So, Stephen A., it has you to be, it has are to you going to pull the executive stop. producer move and tell no, him go gonna pull, the, gonna I'm, tell I'm, him pull I'm, the field? I'm, I'm, I'm not going to. I could, but I'm not. I'm not. It's not necessary. Because, you see, your point would be valid if both Tom Brady and Bill Belichick's careers stopped at their last Super Bowl. Mm. That's not what happened here. Because of the luster that has been removed from an otherwise illustrious career of Bill Belichick because of the way the New England Patriots have looked over the last four years, because of the decision-making he made, not just in terms of player personnel, but the personnel in terms of his coaching staff, some of the decisions he's made, Patricia and Judge and all of this other stuff. The fact that in a decade he only drafted about two or three, he only acquired like two or three pro bowlers. One was a kicker and one was a punter for crying out loud. Those kind of things have resonated. I understand that Andy Reid never won a championship until he had Patrick Mahomes. You know that brother was in five NFC championship games mm -hmm. and a Super Bowl appearance with Donovan McNabb. Let us not mm -hmm. forget that. You understand what I'm saying? He had Pinckney and, 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 uh, and others. Brian Westbrook Cabal coming out of the backfield with Donovan McNabb. Okay. You have, uh, uh, there's just so many guys that he had available to him. He couldn't kick in the door for a Super Bowl championship. But he was competitive. He was a player's coach. He resonated. The kind of things that you highlighted, R.C., that we can't say about Bill Belichick right now. We've been saying about Andy Reid since 1999. And so because of that, spanning 25 years of his player relationships, the ability to galvanize his troops, consistent contenders, not relying on one quarterback, okay, but having somebody not just a Patrick Mahomes. Again, Donovan McNabb before that. That resume, to me, puts Andy Reid in a position. If Andy Reid gets a couple of more Super Bowl championships, I'm sorry. You'll have a better – he'll have a better look on his resume than Bill Belichick.
Yeah, I don't know about that one, Stephen A. I mean, the, the, the Howie Roseman for the Philadelphia Eagles couldn't wait to show Andy Reid the door. So for all of the so, conference championships, for all of the conference championships that they got to, it still wasn't enough for him to stay put in Philadelphia. Bill Belichick won all of his Super Bowls with one franchise. But I'll when sit here and say, left, he just left. He just got pushed out the door and can't yeah. get a job. <laughs> but he still got the about? championships. He still got six Super Bowls, yeah, and he's been the nine. With Tom Brady. Eh? Yeah, and that's fine. He got him with Tom Brady, but I think the common denominator here is the quarterbacks, and I think that's why you have to give the edge to Mahomes. Yeah. And to R.C.'s point, Pat Mahomes came out the gate throwing for 50 touchdowns and winning the MVP. Out the womb. Out, 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 <laughs> out the gate. Like, that. that's how he started. So, yeah. if you're looking at – how his first six years matched up with Tom Brady's first six years. If Mahomes gets a Super Bowl, they would have three through the first six. Let's not forget, after Tom Brady won his third, it took him a full decade before he got another one. And you look at the that. runway that Pat Mahomes is going to have with another decade and a half, presumably, of being able to play in the National Football League, there's no reason in my mind to think that Pat Mahomes can't match and or exceed what Tom Brady has done just because of how he started. I mean, when you look at the player's impact on the team's overall yes. success through the first six seasons, I don't think there's a case to be made that Patrick Mahomes was more so impactful on his team's success mm -hmm. than Tom Brady's. That's not to take away anything from the GOAT. That's not to disparage Tom Brady. That's just to accentuate the greatness of Pat Mahomes. And here's the last thing I'll say about this. This iteration of the Kansas City Chiefs wasn't supposed to be a championship contender. And I'm not saying, oh, Andy Reid is his best and Bill Belichick is his best, that there's a discussion. There's not. I'm saying that Bill Belichick has lost that luster. We have now been looking at Bill Belichick. You people, you all, you, you Super Bowl champions, right. okay, Steve, you Steve players, y'all have looked at him and said, yo, he, this is bad. This yes, is but, really but, bad. But, but that's <laughs> like, this is like the conversation people started having about Cam with the game manager thing. It's like people only remember the end of his career. I'm saying Bill Belichick ain't the coach now. Bill Belichick is still the GOAT. And so if we're going to compare his resume to Andy Reid, Andy Reid got a lot of championships to win to pass Bill Belichick. And you not at, a lot of time to yeah, do it. you at least got to get to five. If we can't give him the goat if he only well, wins he's, he's four. Been, he's, he's been to four, but he's got to, he's got he's only won two. But if Andy Reid, for example, if they won two or three more Super Bowl championships, right? I'm saying you're not going to take the totality of his resume into consideration, along with player relations, along with him not being pushed out no. the door. Along with him, you're not going to take those. those I don't care nothing about no player relations. <laughs> I care about player relations when it comes to hiring a coach. Now, how do right. you relate to the current players in the locker room? I don't Damn care if they couldn't pick. They, I don't care if you couldn't pick your head up and look Bill Belichick in the eye. As long as we was getting these rings, that's right. what that conversation is about. And Bill Belichick, for whatever you feel about him now, for whatever happened when Tom Brady left, the man won six of them. The man and won the man, six ooh, championships. The, the man ooh, played. The, Super the Bowl. man played. I am not. To, but I'm not saying that Andy Reid is there now. I'm saying, obviously, he's got to win a few more. But if he wins a few more, somebody that's standing with the – it's like you got big-time you got big time rap artists that come onto the scene and they wreaking havoc and making noise, right? And then we just want to dismiss LL. But LL been doing this since the 80s. I mean, damn. I mean, I got, I got, I got, I got hey. to look at him and go like this. Hey, I'm, I mean, I'm going to tell you, LL been since the 80s. Even even I mean, even damn. That's an old New York person analogy. I'm going to be honest. Because I would even that, have to go, on, you can't say Jay-Z. Jay-Z made a song about it. Every day a star is born. He talked about all these rappers who came into the game. They was hot. They had hits. But you still ain't Jay. Like, I get that. But you got to look at it's true. But Andy, no, what Andy Reid has been able to do is amazing. But you have to count that he's had all of this time to do it, and he still only has two championships. What Bill Belichick did for two I'm decades. I'm not talking about now. I'm saying that the brother went two, three more Super Bowl rings, man, we got to have a different discussion. That's what I'm saying. Well, you can't take what we were, Shep. You hey, can't take hey, what hey, we were. If, nah. if Patrick Mahomes <laughs> wins three more, it's a wrap. The GOAT, to me, the GOAT conversation. No doubt. Chiefs Ravens, who we taking, sir? I'm going to go with the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, obviously, Patrick Mahomes is big time, and we get all of that, but Lamar Jackson, that defense, the moment, it's time. I'm going with the Baltimore Ravens. 
I agree with Stephen. I'm going with the Baltimore Ravens. I think it does start with that defense, but this is the time that Lamar Jackson doesn't take the throne from Patrick Mahomes, but he says, I belong in the same conversation with the best quarterback playing. Cosign, retweet. Let's keep it going. Uh, Stephen A., how about up in the Bay? Are you going with the Detroit Lions or the San Francisco 49ers? This scares me. <laughs> it does. <laughs> because I think Detroit can beat San Francisco, but I got to go with CMC, Debo, and the crew. A nail biter down to the wire, but San Francisco survives and advances. RC, you got like five seconds. Detroit Lions. Let's okay. go. I'll see you guys on Monday. Okay. Have fun in Bristol.